thank you all of you for uh, uh, thank you sir for this uh, speaking uh, good things and the ICT initiatives uh, in the Delhi University uh, moreover uh, we would like to have a nice uh, brainstorming session out here uh, like you know we can uh, you can ask questions and you can know what uh, about the global education the scenario right now and the best practices basically uh, you ha all have in mind uh, that will be great if you all share your own things with the speakers here and uh, if you would like to say anything on whatever they've just shared with us uh, that will be great so, uh, so anybody would just voluntarily uh, tell us what all about you know the new things the global education we're actually uh, seeing around us the uh, practices there are other things so with the other delegates yeah we will we'll, we'll come forward like before that you know like from the speaker's part uh, can we sir can you just conclude in a, a word like what was the best practice uh, in igno that is happening that you have presented uh, in just a single word i would say single, single sentence single, sir, i would uh, share the same point we have now had two presentations the topic was Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, I want um, everybody to listen what uh, sir is saying here. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but uh, can we have your attention, please? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. We heard, uh, we saw two papers very well presented, but the fundamental question for which we came down from the other session is also to know what is the best practice you have followed in IGNU and what is the best practice you have followed here? The, the term used is best practices in global education. Can you summarize it for the benefit of us sitting here? Probably, I think you can hear. Uh, I need to come there. No, fine, we can you can hear. I will summarize in two sentences. The best practice to reduce are the, for the global education will be to minimize this digital divide and f to achieve that goal. One objective is that students, particularly in rural areas, they need to understand or they, they need a kind of IT literacy. For that, we need to create a, this a paper, which is a compulsory paper by all students passing out from any university so that they know basics of ICT. So that's the best practice to my mind. Uh, no, can, sir. can I introduce at this stage, please? Yeah. Yes, sir. I saw your uh, presentation. I'm sorry to be a frank talker uh, because you know I have attended some. It's all right. I don't need. It. I I think everybody can hear. Please don't mind. My, my I I'm in a way of a tra very transparent way. Sometimes could you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I am Professor Tudeja. I retired from DRDO as a very senior scientist, a colleague of Dr. Abdul Kalam. Then after super innovation, I was a principal of an engineering college. Now I am advisor of research and engineering to the Dronachai Engineering College. Right? So this is how I like, I didn't want to put flags on this thing. Uh, I just want to see, I might have attended maybe more than 200 conferences. Now, why I think it's not rude. I'm, your top uh, lecture was, you did this, you did, asked this question, but to me personally, I don't know about others, it was sleep inducer. I, I tried, to, I, I went to dozing. Because I could not find an I, a clear message coming. Uh, a last one, so, sorry, don't mind, there's no offense. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I, I, in the last one, I said, uh, you know, ICT should be, uh, this should be one of the compulsory papers. Like environmental, like this is the clear ma message you are coming with. Am I right? Absolutely. Now, you look at the students. I might have taught about 20,000 students in my life. Eh? And into more than, uh, interviewed more than 200 faculty members. My, see, I am not sounding pessimistic. I am neither sounding up to time realistic. You know, what is the student's environmental paper it is uh, graded internally and therefore, the seriousness of the students is not there. Once the university, once there is a fear, a pressure that you will be graded by the university, then they study. The, uh, tomorrow I have a presentation, I will talk about this, what are the different
techniques, etc., and how we can motivate the students. This is not the forum for that. Okay. That what I'm saying is the following. You put one more thing to the students. They are already loaded with the you know age-old traditional boring methods of uh, doing this thing. And now by all doing all this thing, you are saying give ICT as one of the papers. The real motivated student, either motivated by external, by the good teachers, or self-motivated, or by the environmental, they know the need of the ICT, they don't need extra papers, and those who are not motivated, like your concern for the rural people, and I'm sorry for the longer observation, the concern, I also treat my students more than my, love them more than my own children, right, I, my heart beats for them. But the thing is that you have to see the reality. Talk to them. To engineering, you are doing. My father has sent me. That's why I am doing. I have got a lot of money. Therefore, I am doing. My my matrimonial value will increase. Huh? You you have to understand. First, you bring them. First, you bring them up to that level instead of introducing one more paper onto them. Are we creating enough awareness? Are the teachers themselves dedicated enough, involved enough? Particularly in those 1600, uh, by 1600, 3200 engineering colleges through, spread throughout the country, and less said about the private engineering colleges, with few 2% exceptions, better it is. The kind of stuff we get, my own colleagues, I am from that product of the DRDO, uh, I, 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 this thing, and then you are talking to the students, one more paper. I mean, if they, if they, if they had a, a desire, they will kill you. Yeah, instead of I yeah, think I'm sorry. the question, yeah, question today, is question you okay, please place your question. Uh, you want you want one line question? One line question is have we created the environment enough to motivate the students to go for this thing first instead of creating the need? Uh, your concern is very well taken. Probably we will have a long session after this session, but since there are other speakers, so I don't want to really take too much of time. But let me tell you, all we are talking about the knowledge economy, knowledge society, and if a large segment are kept out of this knowledge, if the person of this student who belongs to rural India doesn't know what email is, what internet is, so I think some kind of knowledge is needed to motivate them. So that kind of motivation is needed. Automatically giving a good lecture will not help. Unless you have a real uh, kind of a government initiative, like environmental paper, he said, it's not graded, but it's a compulsory to pass. If you don't pass in that paper, you will not get a graduation degree. Am I correct? Yeah, 100%. OK. Likewise, if students are just given this basic paper you have to clear, it doesn't really require much of this thing. And Mind it, you know, those students who belong to rural India, they will acquire knowledge. And the whole conference today and elsewhere is on the knowledge creation and creating a knowledge society. So if you keep a huge segment of students outside this knowledge group, then what are we doing, going to do? So what we are suggesting, not to have a paper, you know, uh, which has an in-depth knowledge of basic language uh, and then the uh, internet languages, HTML, and HTML and all those things. He said, just what is email? What is internet? You know, that kind of thing. You know. I think, uh, anyway, see, the results are based on a very small survey, and uh, probably it can be. Sir, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, as I would like to add up to Sir's vision also, like I mean, questions on that. His argument was, I mean, his question was correct. Uh, the entire seminar is on the best practices in global education, right? See, you say you're already with, uh, he, his representation is two the same. You're already with some papers and you're going to add up another paper which you say that is going to be the best practice, right? But his argument is, which our expectation also with respect to it now, whatever been earlierly taught, it is not, I mean, what is the best practice that you've done so that it has been barely reaching the audience, the target segment, right? Just by adding up this, uh, uh, we don't agree that uh, w the vision what you have created for this Will, will, could be achieved, right? Just by adding up papers, we can't achieve there certain things. The papers which are already there, it has not been uh, done. Like so, that, that's what he represents. See, we want a kind of a unique practice that's going to really working hard. And here, we have all been here to learn something. When we say best practice, it should be unique. We need to, you know, uh, this ICT or even the sessions which are happening in the morning or whatever it is, 
we couldn't find something unique happening which is already there uh, i mean four five years before it's already there very much there and ict today has become the need of the hour every school has got an ict content that is what sir we can actually have uh, th- some things from you all uh, like you've come across anything you would like to share with the others you know about what is happening around Fine. in the I, global I would, uh, if you have anything you can actually sure, share it sure. with others like you know like i think we could take this session Other ways of doing that, you know. This is the one finding, and there could be.